can Ladies take their and time gentlemen, in the eight making his eight way to the ring, session. representing Cameroon, Breeze Kambu. So, ladies and gentlemen, we now move to our second championship tournament of the evening. This one in the middleweight division at 82.5 kilos. Semi-final action here. Bryce Kumbo taking on Samir Al-Mansouri. Two fighters who I think have completely opposite styles inside the ring. This man, Bryce Kumbo, very patient fighter, very technical fighter. And, you know, he has 13 fights. He's never had a single knockout in his career. But he gets his hand raised. He's 11 and 2, and so he has his style, and it's been successful for him. He's not uh, some kind of dynamite knockout artist, but very successful right now. Representing Morocco, welcome Samir Al-Mansouri. Now, Samir Al-Mansouri, on the other hand, is the absolute epitome of a knockout artist. Whenever he makes any appearance here in Mixed Fight Championship, he always puts on a show, and he has got absolute dynamite inside of those gloves. Let me tell you what. Made his debut in January of 2013, and this kid has been blessed with the gift of power. It's a very sick and sadistic gift, but still, it's a gift. Yeah, still a gift. The following bout is scheduled for three rounds and represents semi-final number one of the K-1 Rules Mixed Fight Championship four-man middleweight tournament. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 184 centimeters and weighed in at 82.1 kilograms. His record, 11 victories opposite two defeats representing Cameroon. Breeze Combo! His opponent fights on of the red corner. He stands 184 centimeters. His official weight, 82.5 kilograms. His record, 33 victories, opposite seven defeats with 25 wins via knockout. Representing Morocco, Samir Al-Mansouri! Your referee, Murat Edelkert. We can hear the kind of crowd support that Al-Mansouri has got in the arena here tonight. 33 wins, 25 by KO. Yes, impressive. 11 wins, and two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our first semifinal fight in the middleweight championship tournament at 82.5 kilos. Samir Al-Mansouri of Morocco in the red gloves. Brice Kambu of Cameroon in the blue gloves. I think this will be a very technical fight, we will see. Both men measured 
at the same height of 184 centimeters. And one of those shots may have been close to the groin, but life goes on. <laughs> I've always wondered what's the best strategy when you're in a four-man one-night tournament like this. Ragyan, you've been in uh, tournaments like this, actually yes. in mixed fight championships. So yes. uh, what do you, do you even have a strategy? Is it possible to have one, or do you yes, just take whatever course. happens? No, you know, the best strategy, I think, is to, to not think about the second fight. Okay. So you go in the first fight like it's your last fight. Because if you think about the second fight, you're not going to focus on the first one. All right. But sh do you think it's better to try to knock your opponent out as quickly as possible and move to the finals? Or do you think it's po possible just to, you know, let the fight unfold naturally, whatever happens, happens? Um, both options are possible. But the second option, if you want to KO your opponent really quick, you have to be smart, you know? Not, not taking too much air, not taking, not using your whole body to knock him out, you know? Right, so if you use up all your stamina and your energy yeah, yes, all your stamina. in the beginning, even if you win, you've still got another fight left to go. Yes, yes. So you got to, got to do it smart. Ooh, nice shot there. Landed right between the guard. The knee almost landed. And Kambu oh. has been defeated twice in his career. But I don't know if he's ever fought anybody with the power of Al Mansouri. Mansouri is, has an MMA background as well as kickboxing, but he excels at kickboxing and has not competed in MMA since 2015. Although his first fight here in MFC was an MMA bout. Bambu goes upstairs with a head kick, taken on the glove. You can just feel the difference in power between these two. You can hear it as well. Yes, yes. And second clapper goes. Sa Sammy listened good to his corner. He's close to touch, so I understand everything. End of round one. Take a look at some highlights here from round number one. I think we're just getting started here. I think that round number two is really gonna kick off the show yes. between these two fighters. I think Bryce has to look out for the high kicks, and Samir has to look out for the knees of Bryce to the body. See, every time he comes in the cleans, he throws a knee. Yep. And every time they, they are on distance, Sammy throws a high kick. And every time that girl dances, that guy is hypnotized down there at ringside as well. <laughs> here we go, round two action here in this first semifinal contest in the middleweight championship tournament. You can feel the energy picking up here in round two. Kambu caught Mansouri on the chin with one of those punches. Fighting his way inside. Kambu made his MFC debut at the last event. Uh-oh. Back in June, it was a victory for him. And the crowd letting them know how they feel about that low blow. Certainly was unintentional. You know, the fighters have protection, but uh, the protection doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> well, every guy out there right now knows how Mansouri is feeling, yeah. but there, not every guy has been kicked between the legs by a professional kickboxer. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's something different. Yeah, be different yeah. That's a special kind of pain right there. 
exchanging and, body and Suri still looks like he's hurt right now from that low blow and whatever else of uh, kind of pain he's been through. He just he doesn't look himself right now to me, to be honest. See, his kicks don't have as much power as they did in the first round. Yeah. Nice move there. Why wow, that was a slick move. Yeah, yeah. And again, he avoids. Some means going to the legs now instead, some, instead of the head kicks. Showing some good defensive work here, is Yeah, yeah, of course. Bryce is start. going to. Normally, you don't see him that aggressive. Bryce is going forward. He's going for it. Yeah. Oh. See, Sammy is focusing on the legs. Yeah, then Suri looks like he's hurt here. When those shots land by Kambu, he's wincing and he's grimacing. You can tell he's really feeling those shots. Yeah. Kambu is putting a lot of pressure on him. Doesn't seem too bothered by the low kicks, though. No. He just but you will feel that if if you go to the to the to this fight, you will feel it in the second fight, in the final, the tournament. Again, nice movement there. Yeah. He just doesn't seem to have that killer instinct that he normally has. Usually, he's like a shark inside the ring. He's like, well, there it is. <laughs> there it is. It's coming. It's coming. He's still got it. It's somewhere. I think now is the time to unleash it here. We're inside 30 seconds in round number two, and he doesn't have forever here. He's got one chance. Oh my! Oh, they're going. They're going for it. Here he goes. Something clicked. Oh. Something just snapped inside of Al Mansouri here in the last 30 seconds or so, and he's going in for the kill. Yeah. Oh, whoa! He ah. End of round two. Nice round, nice round. I take a look at Kambu in the corner there. Still looks in pretty good shape. Considering he's been through two rounds of war so far. We take a look at highlights here. That was a hard round for Mansouri. I think he took a lot of damage in that round and in that low blow, that one right there, really zapped his strength. But then in the last 30 seconds or so, he got a second win and started to unload on Kampu. Now I warned everybody about the power of Al Mansouri before this fight. We haven't seen it just yet, but we caught a little glimpse of it right there at the end of round two. I think when he got the low blow, he still had to recover from it. Seconds out. Well, he had 60 seconds there to recover between rounds. Samir looks ready. Let's see what he's got. Touch a glove, third and final round underway. Kambu picked up a big win in June of this year over Jerome Heinz, who is a former MFC champion, and that boosted his stock in the company here real quick. I think that's why they decided to throw him in the tournament here to see what he can really do. Nice body kick. And Suri acknowledged it. Quick combinations there. Upstairs, downstairs, to the legs. Kambu opening up now. He's pushing on, he's pushing forward. Doubles up with the left leg. Samir has no answer. He's just watching and tasting. Well, this is unusual. This is the most trouble we've seen Al Mansouri in, in a kickboxing bout in MFC. Interesting to see how he's going to respond here. He's only got about half a round here to do something. Whoa! Shot bounced off his forehead. Nice body shot. 
Ambu comes over the top with the right. And another right. They exchange knees on the inside. So whoever wins this bout will move on to the finals, which will take place at the end of the night, the final fight of the evening in the main event. Whoa. They will fight the winner of the next fight, which will be coming up after this, either Sergey Braun or Lukasz Povetsky. And keep in mind, the winner of the tournament will become the MFC middleweight champion. Oh, big time knee on the inside. And now he's coming alive again. This is what he does in the last 30 seconds. Mansouri feels the sands starting to slip through the hourglass and starts to unload. Took a big deep breath right there. He's running short on gas right now. Yeah, because of the pressure of Bryce. Final seconds. It's now or never. End of the contest. Both men optimistic at their chances, but the look on the face of Reese Kambu tells me that he feels that he has won this thing. And you know what? I think I would be hard pressed to disagree with. Ooh, a little celebratory dance yeah. in the ring as well as we take a look at action from round number three. It just seems to me like Al Mansouri never really got started in round three. And by the time he decided that he wanted to really give it a good go, there was nothing left in the gas tank. Bambu just too much in that third round. Outlanded, outpunched, outkicked, outkneed Al Mansouri. I think the, the Kambu has a little bit more stamina than uh, Samir. He looks in fantastic condition here. Yeah, you even dance, look. <laughs> After the fight, you, uh, you, you have to be tired, you know, but he has still energy to dance. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and if this kickboxing thing doesn't work out, he may have a future on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Let's get the official announcement. Advancing to tonight's middleweight tournament final, the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Breeze Kambu. Kambu punches his ticket to the finals later tonight. The second semifinal coming up in just a moment. Joined by our winner, headed to tonight's middleweight tournament final. Congratulations, Brees Kambu. You get the unanimous decision. Three hard rounds, and you have another fight yet tonight. Uh, I come from a very strong, strong fight. And uh, Sami, I saw him in the last camp. He is a super fighter. I was very happy to see him again today to fight. And I'm happy to have him take the home with him today. Thank you very much for all, for the fans. Thank you. No, <laughs> no, I don't speak German. Ladies and gentlemen, your I know he winner, thanked his fans Kambu. and he said Samir is a really good fighter and he want to thank him also for the fight. And yeah, that's it. 